All right, for this assignment, what we will be doing is centering and putting hole in the center to set it up for a six inch cylinder. We'll also be widening the hole. Your assignment is to do five with putting a hole in it and five with widening that hole. You're not supposed to go past the, uh, just putting the hole in it until you get all five. And then once you get all five, you can step up to the next section, which is widening those. So, uh, you're going to use about the same amount of clay as before, about a decent handful, okay? If you're using too little, that's a very common mistake. If you use too little clay like this, it's just, it's more difficult for sure. So, okay, remember one very common mistake is not, is having a hard time getting the clay stuck to the wheel. So just a little refresher here, I like to use my thumb as a squeegee. You want the, the wheel head damp, but not too wet. If it's too wet, it's not going to stick, and if it's dry, it doesn't stick as well. Okay. Remember, I'm going to place this as close to center as possible, and then I'm going to hit this down. And it always helps to put a little ring on here to keep this. Okay. Another quick refresher. We always want to sit close to the wheel head. Okay. We want 50% power. And the very most important thing is the anchor points, right? Anchoring over here. Another quick thing to talk about is making sure that you're not trying to go like this when you're centering, but rather like this, okay? So at this point, you should have already gotten 10 centers. All right, so the next step is simply taking this and I like to do, the, it, do it this way. I take this and I just press this down. Okay. You don't want to go all the way to the wheel head. You can take one of your needle tools, press this down. What about a half inch? Okay. About a half inch of clay still on the bottom. All right, and that's the next step. I'm going to show you the next two steps in this video. Okay, remember to make your rainbows. Another way to do this after it's centered I like the way I showed you first a little bit better but another way to do it is to cup the clay and poke with your thumbs okay. and that'll do the same thing it's a little different shape but it still works just fine okay now your next step you want to get five of these don't go any further than this. The next step is to widen this though. After you get five, you can proceed to widening this. And the next, the way we do it is just take this and I just, now it's really important that you still keep it centered, right? That's the most common thing that happens at this point is it stays, goes off center. If it goes off center, you will not be able to uh, count it. You'll have to start over, okay? So this hand stays, it doesn't move. I'm doing the exact same thing as when I was centering. I've just let off a little bit of pressure. But notice this hand stays the exact same the whole time. Let's widen this out. And then I'll even come and make sure there's a nice flat bottom there. And this is the most common step that people miss. And if you don't widen this out so it's a nice flat bottom like this, you'll never get an even cylinder. And that's what we're going to want to work on. So even a lot of my Pottery 2 and 3 students skip this step and they'll, they're always going to have a nice, well, a, a thick bottom to their pot, okay? So I'll show you just another version of the same thing here. And notice if I cut this off and this isn't, this doesn't have any water on it, I can just put my clay right on top of that. It sticks just fine. And if there's any water there, you got to get the water off. Uh, so, once again, you can do that same thing if you just use your thumbs and widen it. I don't like that as much, but it still works just fine. 
you have a nice wide bottom about as wide this is going to dictate how wide your cylinder is if you wanted a nice wide pot then you're going to make this wider down here right and that is the next step